out here, man. We're gonna do it again. We're gonna do it again, man. We back out here with some of the cold kennel blood, man. You already know, back in the D, man. Let's get it. What's that you got right there? Oh, man, it's that blue tribe, man. It's going to my boy's partner. We got Machiavelli down there, man. What's going down? What's up with my dog? Oh, oh, yes, sir. Boy, boy. Yes, sir. Boy, boy. What's up, boy, boy? What's up with Cold Kennels? Oh, man, Cold Kennel, man. We doing good, man. Shit, we just jumped on the flight, man. Finally out, out here again. Uh, to drop off these other two dogs, you know, to my boys. Uh, man, we cooking right now, you know what I'm saying? We got some shit on the flow, like my boy said. It's on the flow right now. It's on the flow. There's some shit coming up, man. We want to handle a lot of business coming up. Man, this 2022 about to go up. Real for real. Cold kettles and touchdowns. Hey, again, man. You know we stay just... Yes, sir. 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 Yes, sir.
You know, sometimes I got more categories, best female, best man. You know what I mean? My boy got there a little late, was able to put her in there. And, so I was you know, still setting up at the same time yeah. when they was, so I ran up in the ring. Kind of, you know, I wasn't trying to be extra arrogant and everything, but it was going down. It was a couple contenders already in there. So I ran in there kind of late, and I had her and her, and her and her at the same time, and I wasn't able to, you know, turn her to the side. Because once, when you showed me the footage a little bit later, I seen that he was telling us to turn to the side to see the different angles, and I didn't hear that. Because I'm trying to, she kept trying to run away, but she was ready to, you know, show her work. So I had, if I'd have had somebody to handle this one for me, we'd have smashed shit down. But we'd we be at the auto show out here, bro. What's up, boy? What's so, overall, how was the uh, the, the first dog show for uh, Cash Dog? It was great. It was a good experience. She came over there and did her thing like a professional. That bloodline, that pedigree so thick and so strong, man. Oh, yeah. And he, bl he blessed me with a cold, serious bloodline, man. We got a brotherhood going on. We did linked and hooked up. Me and this talk on the phone down there every day. Every day, man. Like, every day. You know? He calling me, talking about dogs, looking up dogs. You know what I mean? Looking at different shows, different ways we can have a new, yeah. make this shit happen when it's yeah. supposed to. So. Brotherhood, we, we just grind and get into it. I mean, a whole lot of bulldog shit. A whole lot of bulldog Safe shit. Safe being kennels, man. S-A-F-E-B-I-N underscore kennels. Or you can hit me up, 313-629-9945. Easy. We got, got them all day. Out here. We got this shit out here. So. I got one mail. Hey. <laughs> And he about to be ready in two months, so y'all better tap in this when stuff. that shit come back. Believe me. This the only mail I got right here. He, Matter say, he, he might be taking some early lock-ins if this get out in time, you know what I mean? I'm taking you early lock-ins. You might, you might want to tap in early, you know? Yep. I'm telling you, Jack. I'm going early on the lock-ins. $3,500 lock-ins. You did it. $500 deposit. $3,500 right now, we going up. I'm telling you, this shit's serious. It's the son of Suge right here off the Compton Bloodline. It's the son of second, second to none, Frenchy uh, Suge. Just look him up on the, on the English Bulldog tip. He been smashing all the show. He a gorgeous dog, one of the best I've ever seen. Hey, Mama, Bella, she's a uh, tri Merle Bulldog. She's beautiful, a beautiful girl, nice ass structure, nice size female, not too big. She, she pretty, man. Just, uh, Nice female, man. We got something going on serious right here, man. I'm just happy to be a part of it. So what's, what's next for uh, Safe Being Kennels? Um, these litters. I'm just showcasing. I'm showcasing my work right now. I'm going to let my fan base or my following grow with me and my dogs. Because the, in the next few months, I know everybody going to be tapping in, trying to get some dogs from me. And they're going to be ready. So I got different litters. I got... Another dog, he's gonna go get my other dog in Cali in, in a couple days. I got a black and brown English Bulldog out there. Um, I got another English Bulldog, an old school tan color one. I got an all white, what you call the ones with two, two colors, the uh, the pie. I got a pie Bulldog. I got these three exotics. These are my three exotics right here. So, you know, structure. Look at them, look how small they are. They're not getting much bigger than this. These English Bulldogs. A lot of people got English Bulldogs. You see them. A lot of puppies look nice. You see little spots and colors on them, but you don't know what you're getting. You got to see the mother and the father. And you can either go farther than that where they come from, man. You got to see the work that you're getting. Because mostly all puppies look pretty, man. I've never really seen an ugly puppy before. You know, these you're getting colors and everything. You got to have the right dog, the right structure, the right mom, the right dad. Genetics got to be right, man. Rap for them, you, baby. That's it, man. So you wanna uh, show us, tell us about Panda Bands too, or other new one you got? Uh, Panda Bands, she from Miami, Florida. She another, she a micro too. Mom pretty small, dad small. I can't remember exactly um, a lot of stuff about the dad, but um, I met a guy in Florida with her, and she was pretty nice. I seen the little that he had. And I, he, you know, he showed me a lot of stuff, how he was taking care of him. I was kind of impressed. So what made you go with the black? Oh, she gorgeous. Now let's take a look at her. They been talking about she looks better. She, she colder than cash down. I don't know about that. She nice. She nice. Thank you, baby. Thank you, baby. Yeah.
So what made you go with the uh with Machiavelli the dog? Uh meanwhile she be kicking on the phone all the time, so I've I've been building my I've been building up my empire with the dogs and you know, I've been thinking like how I'ma do it. So I've been doing a lot of studying, watching a lot of YouTube, a lot of different videos on breeding and everything. So the more I've been looking, because I was thinking about giving me a couple more dogs for my stable. And I was looking at some other couple dogs, I'm like, man, I gotta get another dog from YC. This shit's too cold, man. You got the killer combinations, man. He, this boy don't even know what he did. I had to tell him, like, man, I know you know you cold, but you cold, cold. Like, he didn't put it together, so he didn't figure it out. He got a nice new breeding campaign going on, take care of his dogs real good. They living a good life, good bulldog life. They smart, they listen. I open my door right now, man. These dogs is young. I open the door, they go right outside to go use the bathroom. But man, I got three, four dogs being in the house. They don't even smell like dogs. You come over here for my shit. They be chilling. You see him post with the chain on, man. You see him up there. Do a couple of them flicks. Okay. You see his little shug up there. That's how it go. They chilling, man. They sleep. But it's like, what, three? It's three in the morning. It's three in the morning. He just like. You know what I mean? He just touched down on the West Coast. It's three in the morning here. What it, what it is down there? Shit. What? what? One, one now? Twelve. Twelve. It's twelve. It's midnight in the West Coast. Uh. Well, I see. Why'd you uh, why'd you touch on uh your relationship with uh Kilo and how he uh got in contact with you? Huh? Oh man, it was Kilo hit me. It was around uh, last year, early, uh, coming into this year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, around Christmas December. Time. Yeah, around December, Christmas time. And he was ping ponging some uh, information back and forth on some bulldog. And uh, Cash Dog was was a, was the female that he was interested in, and when he hit me, man, directly, we, we just linked up, man. I you know with mean? him too on some real shit. I really tapped in with him too, cause you know a lot of people I follow him. I be seeing like you know you click to you be following people pages on Instagram. You might click and see some other dog. You follow one person, you see some more. But if I'm looking for something, I ain't trying to click and follow anything else to pop up. But I might see something else up there. I might click to it. So when I started, you know, I followed him and some other pages, and I was like, comment on his dogs, and I ain't a funny acting nigga. If I see something I like on the ground, I'ma salute you. If you got something nice, I'ma tell you this look good. Nigga, yeah. if I grow up with you and see you progress out here, hey, I appreciate you. Or, or nigga, I like what you're doing, I'ma I'm let you know. You know, so I tapped in with bro. Bro was kicking the back with me on there, you know what I'm saying? Oh, I like the dog. So once we got to kicking, I'm like, okay, this nigga ain't funny acting, he ain't scamming. Cause you know, we, I'm from a whole nother um, coast. We in Detroit right now, he on the whole nother coast. So I tapped in with him, I'm kicking it with him. I'm like, dude, cool as hell. So shit, nigga, like, hit me up whenever. Nigga, man, this nigga got the kicking it. Chopping up every cent. It's on the flow. The price was so high on this dog, though, when I first tapped in with him, I wasn't even in it like that. Yeah. I hit him up, like, yeah, man, like, dog. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, you know, he gonna say four, five thousand. You feel me? I'm like, that motherfucker nice. Cause I had a dude who I was about to buy a nice girl from for eight thousand. And he didn't want to let me get her because I think it, I was, my skin was a little too dark. But well, that's a whole other story. But anyway, yeah. got to kick him with dude. He like he told me the price. I'm like, oh shit, man, I, I can't afford nothing like that. I'm like, man, I ain't anything like that. I'm just trying to get my feet wet, man. I'm trying to get in this shit. He like, all right, man, just keep in touch with me. I probably call this nigga back the next day, probably two days later. So I'm like, hey man, I want one of them dogs. <laughs> Man, ain't nobody got nothing like what he got, man. He put the pressure on me. He put the pressure on me. Now, she was actually supposed to be me, me and bro's keeper, but uh, he put the pressure on me to let her go. You know what I mean? And, and I told her, hey, I, I'll get her out there to you and everything. So she here now. The brother here now, Machiavelli. Show them dogs, um, man. See, this this so, is what they be like when I be on YouTube, when I be looking at nice dogs. They don't show you the dogs for real. They try to tease you. Yeah. They only let you see dogs like this for 10, 15 seconds, man. Yeah. 20 seconds and stuff. That's Cash Dial the Bulldog. That's Machiavelli the Dog. And that's Panda Bands. Yes, sir. Just like that. <laughs> No panda bear, ain't that right, baby? So, Kilo, how, how you come up with the name and scheme for all the dogs? Because like, you seem like you got a very creative name. So. Yeah, you well, you got to be you creative with what you're doing, you know. Um, I got star-studded dogs, man, so they got to have star-studded names, man. They got to have names to match their fly, man. They got to be fly. They got to have, you know, 
charisma about that shit. They got to have attitudes, man. I plan on taking these. I plan on taking these dogs to Hollywood, man. Like changing the game all the way. I'm already locked in with my dog from California. I'm finna tear them all up in this Midwest. They already heavy out there where he at. They not heavy out there with these out here where I'm at. And I'm part of this right here, man. We didn't, we didn't put it down, so we build it. We build it from right here, man. With some gorgeous dogs. I'm happy to be a part of what's going on right here. Hey, so thinking futuristically, how's Cole Kino and uh, Safe been? How y'all gonna work together? In the future, like uh, right now we work together. We sh shoot each other plays. Ain't no hate. If I like some, I see some. I'm shooting it to him or whatever. Where we been working, we we, we exchanging games, spread game. Eventually we are gonna come together with it. Been in link and pray. Got us get us some land or something together, or you know, come with these dogs. He finna get one of my dogs out there in Cali right now. So we putting it together, man. We linked it in. It ain't even about the money no more with, with me and him. So. We all the way in there. So how long, how big you plan on letting the stable get? Um, I got a different breeding process. A lot of people, a lot of people out here like mad scientists because these dogs are worth a lot of money and you can make a lot of money off these dogs. So people overfill their hands up with so many dogs. They be having them everywhere they have them. They be having them in cages out in their garages and stuff and just like a million of them. They not tending to them right. Me, I got a different process, man. I talk to these dogs. I feed them good a certain kind of way. I train them for different things. I train them my dogs. Like I train them to, you know, to be around my kids. I train them to sit, listen. I train them to be alert when somebody around my house or something like that. I pay attention. Let me know like an intruder or a stranger around. You know, I, I train them for that. Sit, stay. You know, um, and I want their puppies to be smart. So I spend time with all my dogs. Um, most of mine. I, most of mine probably live with one of my family members and live with me. Cause I'm, I'm not keeping them like five or 10 dogs like in my garage and I'm not tending to them. I just go out there and feed them every day. That ain't cool. That's, a lot, that's what a lot of breeders do. I got a different process. That's why you be having dogs, don't listen. It's all about what you pay for. You get a dog for two, three thousand, a couple thousand. He won't act right, he not listening. And you've been working with it for two years straight training him. And you're like, man, I know he know. I know he know what I'm saying, but he not listening. He not responding to me right. Because the genetics and the, the blood just messed up. And you, you know, they ain't been taught right. They used to land and shit and piss. Because they ain't been, you ain't been taking them out the cage and stuff. And you don't clean up after them properly. So they just like, you can't keep a clean dog, dog. You can't keep a clean house. They messing up your house and everything. I got a whole different procedure. We got good dogs out here. We got work, man. I'm ready to spread them around the world, man. I got the best English Bulldogs out here. Health tested. Oh, we got all, all kind of stuff. All, uh, we, we even test the hip display, make sure they ain't, they ain't got nothing. So far, we blessed. You can't, and, and let me get this, let me tell you about this all the way. You only can do so much health testing. Everybody goes so far, oh, it might be this, it might be that. I mean, that, 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 that's, that's life. You know what I'm saying? You can't always just say it's gonna have this or it's gonna have that. Man, you get you some good dogs for the most part, bloodline right, that's, it. that's what it is. It's up to you to feed it right, make sure it's in the right environment to make sure he has a, a long lasting life and the longevity, you know what I'm saying? You got some good dogs, man. They breathing good, they ain't, they ain't all overweight, they nice. So you say you spent two, three thousand on a dog and they still don't act right, so if you looking to buy a dog, I'm not saying you can't spend two or three thousand because you can. I done, I done find nice dogs for for nice cheap prices. Way before I got heavier into the game of buying papered up dogs, and I, I'm not just saying that. But when you're not purchasing something, I understood once he sold me this dog for the price I paid for this dog. When I actually got the dog, I seen everything about her, man. I seen how her tail, she can have no tail back here. Like the little tail is so small, you know, structured up. Her structure, she got that bulldog face all the way, that perfect underbite. Like how, how a, a good bulldog level would like. Good structure on her. Good posture and structure, man. She not getting too big. She's nice, look at that. Structure. She's so sleepy all the time. <laughs> No, oh, she girl, man. She tried. She got blue eyes. So, why well, see? Give us a little bit of your uh, history in the uh, breeding industry. Me and me and my brother right here uh, actually got into it together. So, shit, we on our third, third, fourth litter coming up now, coming soon this year. Uh, 
we're going to end it with that and probably in 2023 we'll be on our fifth and sixth and then go from there so it's going up from here it's going up from here we already planted the seed now we're just watching everything grow you know what I mean? And bro right here, he got he got a couple of our good winners, you know what I mean? But hey, you can't keep them all. So, you know, some of the best dogs, basically, basically, they out here. So, you know what I mean? They coming soon too, to a show near you. You know what I mean? Uh, his stud gonna be open real soon. You know, take an early lock in on him. Y'all go ahead and tap in. Take an early lock in, but I'm not going down though, no, man. He got some heat out here. He got some of that good blood out here. Believe that. Believe that. time coming man and I'm, I'm proud my boy about to come real hard real hard you know what I mean and it's always good to see somebody come up on some dogs that you know what I mean actually came from your camp and then bro about to put his twist on it and his mix in it it's about like to be like your, your kids yeah it's about to be epic you create them your yeah. kids so it's about to be epic I'm so hard to see where he's going with it so I'm finna make, I'm finna make stud him with her. It's gonna be a beautiful thing. I just got so much going on. I got a couple other dogs, man. Oh shit. So tell the people how to get in contact with you again, Kilo. S A F E B I N underscore Kennels. Or you can hit me up at 313-629-9945. Anything else? Okay, I'll tap in. I, um, well, Y'all can ask me questions or whatever. I'm, I'm pretty social. I'm a people person. You got any questions yeah. or whatever, you know, I ain't, you ain't gotta be, you ain't gotta be calling just to try to purchase something. You might have some information you need. We might can exchange some information with each other. You know, build a relationship. As long as you're not no weirdo or nothing. Serious inquiries only. Serious inquiries only. This ain't no play play right here, man. You see what this is on the table? These showstoppers, they where I go. I gotta be feeling like talking. It's like being a celebrity. You take these dogs out, man. You might as well get ready to sign some autographs, my baby, and take some pictures, dog. Because, you know, don't be getting mad when somebody wanna run up and take your picture and all that, because it's just laying like that, baby. Just top of the line. Hey, so we're just swinging through the airport right now. Tell them, man, how that was jumping up a little more. You hear me? Come on. Yeah. It's like, wait, wait, wait. <laughs>